Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL 16.2 and pgAdmin on RHL 9. But the process is same for all RHL versions. Open Firefox, go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See here the message, the latest release is PostgreSQL 16.2 at the time of making this video. Click on download. Then select the Linux, then select the Red Hat, Rocky or Alma Linux. Select it. Then we will receive the commands. See here, currently supported repositories are on RHL, Rocky, Alma Linux, CentOS 7 or 7 and 6 only. For like Linux and Fedora. So for PostgreSQL, we have to select the version. See, we have the versions from 12 to 16. So we are going to install 16. So select the latest version that is 16. Then select the platform. RHL, see, we can select the platforms like RHL 6 to 9. And Fedora 38 or 30. Select the RHL 9. Then select the architectures. Then these are the commands that needs to be run one by one. So first one is the repository. So, so to install PostgreSQL, we must have the pseudo privileges. So copy this one. Go to the terminal. Open terminal. Paste it, hit enter, then provide the password of sudo user. See, successfully installed RPM. This is the RPM, okay. Next, disabled inbuilt modules, okay. If there are any inbuilt modules, this command will be disabled, okay. Hit enter. Next, we have to install the PostgreSQL. Before that, we have to update the packages. I will show you. Then, update. Okay. sudo dnf update. Nothing to update. So, control L to clear screen. Now, install the PostgreSQL 16. See, this is the command. If you want to install 15, let me show you. Copy this one. See, if you want to install 15, replace 6 with 5. If you want to install 14, replace 5 with 4. Okay. So, we so we want to install latest version that is 16. So, it will install the 16.2. Hit enter. See, it is typo. It's dot S. See here, it is installing 16.2, okay. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL server 16.2. Next, these are the optional, okay. So, initialize the database by running this command. I will keep this link in the video description, okay. Control L. Okay, installation also done. Next is we have to start and enable the PostgreSQL service. Before that, verify whether PostgreSQL service is started or not. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hit enter. Try with without service origin number. See, you don't have the version. So, give the hyphen 16 and iPhone 16 and hit enter. See, PostgreSQL service is installed, but it is not started and enabled. So, you to quit, let us start it. Sudo systemctl start PostgreSQL and give the tab, it will start. Let us enable again. Why we need to enable is, see, whenever you restart the RHL server, PostgreSQL server will not be started automatically. So, to avoid it, we have to enable. Then, PostgreSQL server will be started. Okay, hit enter. Let us verify. Control L. Status. See, PostgreSQL service is running and it is enabled. Q to quit. Control L to clear screen. Now connect to PostgreSQL server. sudo su hyphen PostgreSQL. Then PSQL. Let us verify the version. See, this is the client version. This PSQL, this is the client version, not the server version. So, select version. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 16. 
first step after installing PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for so per user that is PostgreSQL okay alter use before that verify the list of the users backward slash du is the command to check the list of the users see I have only one user that is the PostgreSQL which is the so per user so set the password for this user alter user PostgreSQL with password then provide the new password see we have successfully set the password control enter clear screen now verify the list of the databases this is the fresh installation so it won't have the databases other than the postgresql default databases see we have the three databases these are the default databases comes with postgresql installation okay let us create the database create database r2 scores verify again backward slash l okay see new database is there if you want to switch to that new database you use the back, backslash and database database name is r2 scores let us create a table in this database before that verify see we don't have any relations or tables create table table student We have created table. Now insert some data into this one. Insert. Let us refer the data. Select star from student. See, we have the two rows inserted. Okay, control L to create screen. Let us create the user. Create user or role James with we have successfully created user. See, new user is created. Okay, and this is the password. So until now we have seen how to install and connect PostgreSQL on RHL. Now we will see how to install the PG admin. Go to the Firefox. We will download and install PG admin. PG admin dot org. See here we have the option to download by clicking on this download or scroll down. See here we have the download. Both are same. Click on download. Then click on RPM. See for CentOS, RHL, Rocky Linux. Oracle Linux or Fedora, we have to download the RPM package. So click on RPM, select the RHL 9. See here, this is the version we have to select. We have to click on this one, then we will have the installation commands. See, these are the commands that needs to be performed on RHL. See, this is for Fedora, but RHL, we have to run these commands one by one. Copy it, it is going to install the RPM package. So exit, exit, control L, paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now see here, we have the two types of installations. If you want to install both desktop and web modes, we have to run this one. If you want only desktop mode, we have to run this one. If you want only web mode, we have to run this one. So I want to install both the modes, so copy it. The first one that is sudo m install pg admin 4 okay paste it hit enter y and hit enter see download size is this one and total size required is 727 megabytes type y and hit enter See, we have successfully installed. Now, click on activities, then show applications, then search for pgadmin. See, we have already pgadmin for. Click on it. Now, click on add new server. Okay, we will get the same window if we click on or right click on this one, servers, then 
register then select the server see you got the same window i'm giving name can be anything localhost then click on connection here we have to provide the name of the machine on which process equal server is installed see i have installed on my local machine or you can give the ip also go to the terminal select if config see this is the ip you can give the ip or name that is local host let me check the host name see you can give this after schools or you can give the local host then this is the port number 5432 and this is the mainnet database the, and this is the user name this is the you can give this user or the other user we have created okay so provide the password of this user you local host click on save okay expand it expand databases see here we have the database let us if you want to create database right click on it and click select database then provide the new database name test if you want grant piece or other and you have to click on this plus button and you have to add the user so click on save see new database is created even if you go to the psql you can find it So, forwards backslash L. See, new database test is there. Okay. This is the way to install it. The next method is exit. Now, to install pjadmin app console, we have to run this script. Copy it. Go there. Paste it. Control L. Hit enter. Provide any email, it is required to connect to web console. Provide the password, you have to remember this one. It is done, and this is the URL to connect to pjadmin. So, copy it. then provide the mail that we have given here here i have given just for the demo purpose okay so then provide the password then select the language and click on login see here we have the same options like add new server and right click on servers then select register the server then name local host name can be anything here i am giving rhl9 pg16 then connection localhost username provide the username first address provide the password of this user and click on save Don't save see we got the same databases okay whatever there here okay so if you want to create a user right click on logins and group rows select the Login or group row, then provide the name. If you want to grant privileges, can log in, so per user, and other options. Okay, so select them based on requirement and click on save. See, new user David has added, but here it is not showing. Let me refresh. See, it is there, but if you want to see in the PSP, you have to connect it and you have to see them. So, in this video, we have seen how to install. Process equal 16.2 and pjadmin for on RHL 9, but the process is same for all RHL versions. For more process equal server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.